everybody, it's uh, Rob here from heatengineer.com. Uh, it's now Thursday the 13th of July 2023. Um, I thought I'd do a short uh, video here on the new MCS uh, consultation that, um, that closes, if you can see my screen down here, it closes in four days time, it closes on the 17th. I would urge everybody that is MCS registered or anybody that is interested in the industry and is thinking about becoming MCS registered to please, please, please get involved in this consultation because it's open to everybody. Um, and this is about making the process of MCS certification and, and the process of administration, etc., a bit easier or a lot easier, hopefully, um, for you guys to use. But I thought that I'd also add into this. Uh, so you just go to the MCS, web, uh, MCS website and look up the consultations, and there you go, and you can fill in all of these uh, all of these details. Um, what I would say is, um, we're making this video purely because we've been asked quite a few questions over the last few days that many of you, as of our subscribers, actually probably didn't realise um, was uh, part of our our uh, uh, system and you know some of the features within our system to do with MCS and to do with the new regulation within MCS that any kind of project material that you do uh, and you design, you calculate, etc., needs to be saved. All of that documentation needs to be saved for six years. And we have a facility called Heat Manager, which is absolutely perfect fit for that. And I just want to uh, go through that as well. Uh, but also, uh, what I wanted to do uh, and, and explain is that our software um, will produce for you an MCS compliant certificate. Now, please remember what that means as a name. It's a compliant certificate. So it's not the actual certificate itself, but this can be exported in Excel, which is which is MCS's preferred uh, way of forwarding all this information to them. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain that as well. So MCS are very happy to accept these this uh, this, this paperwork uh, before your uh, um, audit or completion of a, of a uh, project. Um, and the other thing that I want to just quickly touch on was the fact that our summary page uh, also needs to be sent, and it, obviously it's part of the heat loss calculation and the report that gets finalised, which I'll show in a second. But the summary page um, is fully compliant with MIS 3005, which needs to be also submitted to MCS. So when you come onto your dashboard, you simply go to your login, and I'll just log into my account here. We look at completed reports. And we'll find something that we did with a, an air source heat pump for argument's sake with that. And there you can see on this column here, MCS Compliance Certificate. And what that, that heat loss is, is completed. So what it's done is it's populated every single thing that it can do right on um, into this report. So you just need to fill in the last little bits, your membership numbers, etc., etc. All those, all these kind of basic information. And once you've done all of that, this box at the bottom gets highlighted up fully in blue. So it's grayed out at the moment. And you can then export that MCS uh, in, in Excel and that will go to your desktop, which you can then attach and send it to MCS. I mean, it really couldn't be any simpler uh, than that. Any information that you want, you've got a link to the MCS website right at the top there, so there's any other information. So not a lot of people knew that that was there. That that will save probably quite a vast amount of time for you in administration, you know, getting your, uh, your, your compliance uh, um, uh, in order. Um, so once you've done that, um, we also then need to find on a uh, um, a page is our, let's go back to a, uh, a demo scenario here. So we'll just pull this through back to up to step nine. You click on your optional pages, and then when you've filled in everything done and you've completed your reports, you've got here at the bottom is called a summary of results. Click on that summary of results, and you can do one of two things. You can... Um, Screenshot that page, but it is actually in the in the full heat loss calculation. But you could screen lot, screenshot that page as an additional uh, source of information for MCS, and then just forward that to MCS. But you can see down here, this is required. This page is required for your for your MCS certification. Okay, um, that's your summary of results page. Um, now, what I was going to say at this point here now, um, if we go back into this uh, demo that we've got here, you can see that we've shared folders. You can add, add folders to Heat Manager, but we can share, we see that we've shared folders to Heat Manager. Now what this does, this, you can upload literally anything, and I will, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you now. I mean, this is, this is stored forever. Um, we're not actually currently charging for this, but we will be in version two 
because uh, because in version two, what will happen is is that you will be you will you you will buy uh, pages, probably A4 size pages with with uh, possibly either four or maybe eight uh, stick on weatherproof QR code. Um, uh, stickers um, which you can then assign with your um, smart device your phone or tablet uh, to the project that you're working on uh, and you'll buy them in sort of you know blocks of eight that kind of thing and they won't be much money you know two or three quid each or something like that I would have thought we, we haven't finalized the price yet so so please don't quote me on that um, but it's not going to be a lot of money that gives you unlimited cloud storage for the project that you've got. And once you stick that QR code onto a, 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 an appliance, we suggest putting it on the inside of a building, so onto a hot water cylinder or something like that. It'd be better not to put it on the outside of a building on a heat pump, that kind of thing. Um, and then anybody, literally anybody that comes in with a smart device can scan that QR code and this page will come up on their screen and they will be able to view everything from the full original heat loss calculation, which is here, PDFs of drawings that we've done. This is a particular project that I did, and I did this drawing for, for some clients. So anybody that comes on site, they can see exactly what you've done, the pipe sizes, etc., etc. Um, you can also then, if you, you know, you add on things like if you've done a pH testing, you can check the check the pH on the system, and it tells you what the pH is. It's all sorts of things that you can add on. You can add on your EPC reports. You can add on you know, absolutely anything you want. Ma uh, um, manufacturer's instructions. All sorts of things like that. So it makes it a, a really, really accountable um, a, a database, if you like, that you can store forever. All of that project fully will comply with with anything from from MCS because everything is stored under this point. point uh, and what we are doing is we're going to make it accessible for um, not anybody anybody that just scans the QR code. You can nominate people that want to have a look at this project, so you can nominate it to the chosen uh, manufacturer for argument's sake, so they can look at this um, uh, folder. They can see all the commissioning results. They can see if there's any warranty issues, what's happened with that, uh, any photographs that need of the installation, or anything that you need to upload, you can upload to this facility. Um, I, I don't think, you know, personally, I've been looking for something like this for a long, long time, and I don't think there's anything better out there at the moment to help. Uh, you know, what we're going to try and do is, it, I, I guess it's it's our it's our own version of the digital benchmark. So it's not it's not held in you know it's not it's not some A4 size bit of paper that is is um, um, stored in a kitchen drawer that nobody can ever find or, or or wherever when you turn up onto site. Everything is there for you uh, as an engineer, whether you're servicing, whether you're replacing, whether you're you know looking at new or just going out and fault finding. Uh, it's all that information is there to help you um, move along. So. That's um, let's say a short video that, uh, that the, oh sorry I was just going to show you how to uh, upload a document so you click on that upload a document here and you can see it's probably like they're looking at degassing so we can just put up a degassing image and there you go degassing image is in there that's all added to the folder and now anytime that somebody uh, scrolls in uh, sorry signs in and uh, and just scans the QR code there you go you've got your full degassing page that is written up and done. So I hope this was a good video for everybody and um, please uh, let me know in the comments um, if you would like anything else uh, added to this. Many thanks. Bye bye.